Hello everybody, welcome to Let's Try. My name is Retromation and this is Superfuse, a deeply customizable comic book inspired action RPG that I'm very excited to be checking out the closed beta for here today. I checked this out about two months ago and I really enjoyed it and I said that I couldn't wait to check out more when there was more to check out and there is now. But before we get into it, I want to say a huge thank you to Raw Fury for sponsoring this video as part of the five days of Fury. Basically, I got to pick five games out of their publishing catalog that I was excited about and wanted to showcase, and thankfully the beta lined up with this event so we do get to check out more of this game. Uh, so, there's a new character that they kind of have teased over here, but just to show off the ability customization of this game, I think the Elementalist is going to do a better job of showing how cool it can let's get. get so let's go with it. Retormation. Uh, Retromation. There we go. Uh, hardcore hero, offline hero, not available yet, but uh, yeah, we'll pop on in. So the last time we played, it was kind of like a vertical slice halfway through the game, but this beta has kind of the level one experience of the game. Uh, there's going to be tons of stuff that are subject to change, things that I think are unfinished, still in progress. I think maybe like some voices, things like that, uh, that will be tweaked. I'll head to you. All right. I see a new thing already. Fire or ice. We get to uh, pick one of those already. Improve your mastery of fire. I think we did mostly fire in the uh, the demo. So let's go for ice. So we get ice shard. Shoot a shard of ice in your targeted direction. Okay. It's pretty much just a rinky-dink, nothing attack. But let me assure you, it won't stay this way for too long. Uh, but yeah, in we go. The beta has a uh, multiplayer Shit. up to four the players. Was right about the corrupted. Boop. Boop. Love it. Uh, but I, I don't know. I typically prefer to play action RPGs by myself for whatever reason. I knew reason. they'd be no match for me. But how did the Ketu get corruption here? Earth has been locked down for decades. Get over here. Get over here. How Hello. are you alive? I'm. Thank the gods. Boop. Head into Good quarantine to. to confirm your ID. I'm in the system. Can't check that. Calcums is glitching. We need to do it manually before you enter town God's rules. Get Doc Letitia Romero yeah. in quarantine to skin you for a local pass. I'm glad you're here. Enforcer. So are they supposed to be robotic or is maybe quarantine. that one of the things unfinished? All travelers must be checked before entering Eros. All right. Talk to Pilots Doc Romero. Get a priority upgrade pass, but not like everyone else. Okay. Where to? Hello, look at this line. Can we get a... Can I just scoot on through the line? No, no budging. Trader's you phone. two messages. Message one. Hey, Jenny. You got any leads on getting around Earth's quarantine? I got stock I'm sure they pay a premium for. Call me back. Message two. You lose your comms again, Jenny. I know you ain't ignoring me. Call me. Ah, uh, hello. Step through the scanner. It's imperative to check your clean. All right. Here we go. Proceed to Eros Town. Uh, but yeah, so. Contamination detected. Oh heck. Area C. Oh no. Well, dang, that's unfortunate. That close to town, huh? But yeah, one of the the deep customization elements is going to be with the abilities. We're going to get things like... Oh, shoot. We can't hit him because he's on the bottom of the uh, stairs. There we go. Little kind of glyphs or something, if you want to call them that, that we'll be able to modify our abilities. Give it like, you know, maybe we'll be able to shoot three projectiles or they'll turn into a boomerang or, or they'll start bouncing or they'll have, you know, higher chance to crit. Things like that. Uh, and we'll be able to stack oh, those and town. combine them in wild Enforcer. ways. Here you will find suppliers of weapons, armor, boosters, and other services. I am Hal, the Colony AI. Current colony status, unknown. Many telemetry systems are offline. Staff are missing. Colony communications is intermittent. Yeah, like for example, that guy that had a different voice just a few minutes ago. So I do think that that's work in progress. Uh, so as ICE, we can now invest another point in it to get in a certain direction here. I think that we can maybe only go for the damage reduction. Uh, I do have an available skill point. So, yeah, that puts us here. Gotcha. So, it gets us here. We can re reacquire that. Uh, but for now, I mean, that actually showed off pretty well. This is going to be the grid 
tree where we put in different fuses. They'll have different shapes to them, and we kind of have to build like a, a mosaic almost. Uh, as long as it is in this grid, this is the grid for Ice Shard. Every single ability that we get will have one of those grids that we can uh, change up. What do we have for money? 200 bucks? Is there Look a reason to? All oh, hi. Serious and everything. I got boosters that'll perk you right up. Come see me, Leon, when you need a little help getting through the day. Okay. Projectile size up, whirlwind movement. Uh, add fire damage, add lightning damage, poison damage. Concave requires a wall skill, melee skill. Automatically home in on a nearby target gives four extra skill power, but it costs extra energy. Split into multiple shots. Okay, we're going to do that one first. I do want to... Uh, okay, so that's 600 bucks. It's a little bit too expensive for me for now. Uh, I'm going to check some settings. All right, we're good to go. I was looking for a UI scale. There appears not to be one at the no moment. No one leaves without authorization. we got a situation out there. Do I look like I can't handle it? Can I talk to the missionary? Is that you? Where do we go here? Hey, wanna reallocate skill points without troubling and boards are coming? Tell me tell me about yourself. I have the work? To Eros's main vendors to reward you for piffling tasks in aid of this colony. Don't let them become a distraction. Returning to normal productivity is of the utmost importance. I'm assuming that this that right up here is the thing. Missionary, there we go. Join the, the wisdom of the great portalers has brought you to me. We have tried and tried to reach a portaler stone that has fallen out of the divine network. But okay. alas, we have been unable to do so. It must be holy providence that you are here now. You are able to clear the stone for us. We shall proffer a meager reward. Okay. I'll break your dang stone. Now we'll talk to Rep. Now we talk to Bates. I, I was just wondering if it was the same as the time we need to talk to this guy. Already got a bit of blood under the fingernails. Eh? We have plenty more scuffles ahead. The mining operation is rife with seditious forces. The rule of the gods must be protected or we all suffer. It is for the greater good. I've got to stop the corruption. What's the plan? One thing at a time. I summoned you to deal with Keku. They've been lurking in the edge of space oh, for months. Smart. But under the cover of the corruption outbreak, they've made their move. There are barricades, dens, and who knows what else. It's blocking production, and that cannot be tolerated. Cross edge of space to reach Perini Bridge and smash a path through the Keku. Make them regret defying the gods. Make them regret defying me. Can do. Go to the edge of space, level one, optional. Gotcha. All right. Got your clearance. You can leave. But it's your own neck you're risking. All right. I'm ready to risk my neck. I don't mind. Gotcha. To the edge of space we go. Bye-bye. Edge of space. Keta forces are ahead. Yeah, this is. But I am also detecting many non human organisms. Lethal force is authorized and recommended. Authorized and recommended. Alright. Well, I'm with it. I mean, for now, I would imagine we're going to be fighting things that are pretty straightforward as they know that we only have just basically nothing. Alright, we got loot. Loot. Okay, we got a blade. I don't know if that's something I can, I'm can. i going to care about. Uh, it's a one-handed sword, poison, experience, extra experience on kill. I mean, can I actually wear it? Wear it there. So that gives us a different attack. So apparently we had... Okay, we have a power glove auto attack. That's kind of a, a more ranged thing. Stitched mask. Sure. I wonder if we can make a build where... Uh, I mean, I'm sure we could where we could, like, turn this character into a melee character. Corrupted organ? Sell value 50 bucks. I would love to sell organs for 50 bucks. Whoop. But, alright. Okay. So we do have, I'd see our little potions here as well. Wall length. So that's going to be one of those fuses. I don't need to worry about it right now because I don't have a wall skill. 
I do think that we can, uh, we get one. Stitch top. Epic. Elemental resistances. Oh, wait, changes on equip. 17 armor, 5 elemental resistance, 2 power, 2 max energy, 11 credits. Drop them out. Oh, we're looking, uh, nice and, uh, dumb right now. Foam shoulder pads. I do like the, uh, I, the area that you can play around with when superheroes are on the line for for gear is really fun. Oh no, I do I do love the uh, silly satisfaction of early game in an action RPG. Okay, so if we invest again, do we get this uh, this chill skill preview and development? So we get a new ability, area of effect movement debuff. Okay. Okay. So I'm assuming it just... It what? Slows? Yeah, movement debuff. It doesn't have uh, specifics yet. Oh my god. Wait, what was that? Ice... Ice wave? Repeat fragments of glacier causing a shock wave of ice. Requires glacier. Oh, okay. Interesting. So there's... Yes. A couple... Wait, so I, I, like, kind of added it to my pool here. But unless I get the ability Glacier, which I just don't have yet, that one doesn't do anything. That opens a, up a lot of play space if you're willing to go that specific. Oh, hold on. I accidentally made my hand a closed fist forever. Okay, come here. I want to check this in action here. Okay, so yeah, definite, definite big slowdown. Hunt complete. Am I really that bad at melee? Oh, I'm I'm pretty bad at melee. Tiny hybrid booster? I really can't carry more. Understandable. Recovers 10 health and 10 energy. Can we equip another one? Looks like we only have two slots for it right now, so we could get that instead of uh, a health booster if we were feeling a little bit you know, a little bit courageous. We could get rid of the health one and have one that gets both health and mana. Okay. We have stun. Requires any damaging skill. I feel like I don't need to worry about that yet. I can't carry anything else. Lightning strike. What's that about? Requires skill thunder. So I actually don't have any pants yet. I'm carrying my limits. Oh, I do have pants. All right. The question is, like, should I keep everything? Are we talking, like, is this a, uh, you know, like a Diablo where it's, like, just I'm keep everything, much. grab everything, sell everything? Or is this, like, a Path of Exile? It's like, don't take anything, you idiot. Don't grab anything at all. Never, pretty much. <laughs> Which one is it? I, I do wonder. Okay. I do see there's some kind of a quest thing, quest marker over there. Hello. Bye bye. Running uh, late. One of those fucking angelics cornered me on the way to my Wall ship. <laughs> I tried telling him that I follow the universal portalers, but he wasn't Ooh. having it. Kept on spouting all that God's endorsed bullshit. Wouldn't let me go. Anyway, sorry, I've got to stay later and make up the time. Look, let me know when you get this message. A lot of foam shoulder pads. I'm just having fun, like, walking around and just bopping everything. Okay, we're definitely going to want to put down that slow for now. You ate, you explode, right? He definitely visually explodes. I don't know if he actually explodes. You know what I'm saying? Another hybrid booster if I want that. I feel like these organs are, are a good call. Uh, do we have any way to teleport home? What is this C? Oh, C is our... It's like our level. Gotcha. Okay. We've activated the waypoint. Let's go back to Eros Town. Eros Town. And we'll do a little bit of selling for a second. New in town, huh? Looks like you've got trouble ahead. I'm Maya. You need armor? You come to me. I don't know. Maybe I need armor. Oops. Control click to quick sell. Do we have any gloves? We don't. 
sell, quick sell, sell, sell. Sell, 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 sell. We could probably get rid of some hybrid boosters too. We have the one tiny hybrid booster. What's the difference between these two? Nothing except one's purple. I'll keep the purple one. I don't think it matters. But yeah, let's go uh let's go take a gander. So you that person had Enforcer. Can't you do something about the rest Things for us to upgrade our abilities. And weapons you gotta love. The miners don't have much use for them. Nuka is the name. Alright. Okay. Balanced impulse, power glove. You know, like we probably could and should take some of these things, but for now I do wanna just like upgrade some abilities. Like those I feel like getting some uh boosters will last for a while. Leon's got something to help. Fork, zigzag, homing, add fire damage, split. So wait, what's the difference here between split? Hitting an enemy fragments the projectile into three less damaging projectiles. This, okay, this splits before it hits an enemy. This splits after it hits an enemy. Have a chance to pierce through enemies. Knock back, max range up. Let's go ahead and take fork for now. Uh, we'll learn that. No one will match me. I earned this. I feel like I don't need to go for uh, the stun yet, but so fork. We'll take that. We put it right down here, and then guess what? Now it does a little bit of a fork. Is that great? I feel like maybe not, unless I add um, homing as well. So let's do that. Let's buy homing. Maybe with homing also, it's going to be a little bit more appealing. All right, we can slot this in now. We can put it pretty much anywhere. It doesn't really matter. Uh, as long as it's... I think as long as it's touching the, the middle. Is that what it is? Like, it has to touch the middle with this part. No, the fuse capacity! Oh, shoot, we have to level up in the demo. We had higher fuse capacity. Well, I don't know if I want to go for a fork unless I have that yet then. 15 out of 15 fuse capacity. Where does it say... What the capacity is here? Like, of this ability. 15 in the upper right. Okay, so homing is 10. All right, I'll, I'll play around with it for now, but I think as we level up, we get more and more fuse capacity. Production cannot resume until we can access the conduit. Go blaze a path of keter blood through the edge of space. Get to it, Enforcer. Decimate our enemies. Uh, wait. I thought Good. I finished something. Oh, there we go. I shall be rewarded for my leadership in cleansing this colony. It is only fair you have a percentage of that. We'll go for the speed up of it for now. I'll learn that. Superb. I'm assuming that's like uh, so. Speed up is five. We could go for a, a sped up, homing one. That sounds kind of nice. That's it. Sounds fun to play with, at the very least. Ooh, very fast. Care about us. Okay, and then if we go back up to the waypoint, I'm assuming we can just get right back to where we were. We'll play around with that ability. Uh, the portal of stone is free. You're welcome. This was your work, was it not? Yes. On behalf of the universal portalers, I proffer this reward in gratitude. May your threads weave a beautiful pattern. Ah, there we go. Portaler beacon. So now we can... Uh, teleport back home apparently your threads oh i have to click it there we go pattern. okay beacon used for calling a personal port portal back to the nearest hub it might just be like a scroll like it might be a one-time use so i don't want to i don't want to jank with it edge of space level one edge of space we, we already heard running late there i'm curious about this homing like because in some games having really fast projectile speed means that a homing projectile won't actually home in. But also, it's just like... I feel like I should... Let's see here. Oh, okay. So I completely... I can completely whiff it, and it totally is fine. All frost attacks chill on hit. 100% chance to cause chill. Or I could buff it up to here. And it seems like every time I buff this up, it like slowly gets more and more value here. I could... Because it's 3 out of 30 into Ice Mastery. So yeah, do I want Chill? 
That could be nice. Now, let's just move towards frost spell damage and get that next time. That sounds nicer. Uh, but yeah, I think I remember from the demo that there were... Um, let's see. Yep. There was another tree. I thought there I thought there was one more. Let's just completely whiff these attacks just to see the, the wonderful, wonderful auto-homing. Ooh, what the heck? A mine. This was not where we were supposed to go, I don't think. Part of me wants to go there anyways, but let's let's head up there. I do hope that they uh, that they add a UI Oh. Upgrade. Stitched mask. Huge. Armor reflexes health. Reflexes are gonna be what? Accuracy and evasion. Checks out. I also wonder if there's a hotkey to like Edge of Space 2. Hmm. Hotkey to show what are interactables. Because there's a lot of things that look like they could be interactables. Uh, but aren't. We'll go to Edge of Space 2 first. Edge of Space Level 2. Edge of Space Level 2. What's the limit on the homing? Can I just, like, throw this out and, like, assume that somebody died over there? No, it has... Okay. Maybe with, like, a max range upgrade? Hello there. Ah, yes. Brain off. Don't even have to... Oh, do the tiny bit of aiming. Hold on. Okay. All right. Okay, there's a there's a limit to the homing. I try I goofed it. I was just trying to see. There is definitely a limit to it. Portal beacon. Okay, so it seems like we can just get those now. Maybe we could get them before, but fire strike. Ow. Is that the ability has a chance to do fire? Bonus skill power, fire damage, adds max spell fire damage per character level. Hmm. I don't know, based off of the phrasing, it doesn't seem like it'll... It'll give this the 1 to 3 fire damage, but the other thing I think will be more or less lost on it. Kite. Welded blade, do I care? I don't know. Drop and run. So yeah, it's very much a, a kiting class that we... Homing? Oh, wait. It was homing. It was just homing to that guy. Whoa. Okay. All right. Good. Got the axe going there. Tiny health booster. I mean, we could. Also, am I... It sure looks like those spots would be open. I think that they are locked, but there's not a, a graphic for it yet to display that. And I see t it's T to teleport home. Whoop, hello. Let's bring you back through here. Run. Scoot. Scoot. Energy restore on miss. That seems a little bit... Um, like a terrible idea on... Ooh, well... A terrible idea for the homing, but not a terrible idea at all. Does this do damage? Wait, does that count as doing damage? Can I put stun on this? No, I didn't think so. What have we got here? A buffer thing? Get some shield upgrade for a temporary bit? You guys are going to run at me in a second? Okay. All right. We might have a problem. At the very least, we're going to run out of mana probably shortly here. Kite. Move, shift, click. Move, shift, click. Frost mage, frost mage. Strapped boots. Could be good. So these ones are caches. Foam shoulders. I think I still have commons for that. No, I don't. No, I don't. Uh, experience on kill, max energy, minus health. I think that that's better for us. I think that that's a better thing for us. It seems like it could be worth it, certainly, to, to look at stuff. But I'd say early on in action RPG, you usually don't have to care too much. About loot for the first little bit. Like, you can, uh, 
you know, you can... Oh, dang, that freaking box. That The homing was actually causing a small issue there. We could fret about every small little thing, but I ain't gonna. I ain't gonna. Is there really no other... I, like, I kind of didn't want to sell the organs until I knew for a fact there was no other use for them, to be clear. I'm a... Oh, uh-oh. Wait. Can we, um... Swap this on the fly. Hold on. Zoop, zoop. Whoop. Oh wait, we went up to we went up to twenty. Oh, the answer is no. Like the answer is kind of, but also in a much more real sense, no. So we can't um do homing yet for this because homing was ten. All right, good to know. Good to good to know. We can, but we can't is the answer to that. Uh, um, energy restore on miss. I wish I knew how much these, um... Perfection refined. I'm just gonna, yes. I'm just gonna go for all of them. I'm not gonna worry about no that. I wish I knew how much energy it was gonna cost ahead of time. Energy restore on miss. See, that actually seems pretty good with, uh, with fork. Since we have the one miss... I don't know if it counts or not. Like, that's a big question there. So, like, I technically missed one. Yeah, we're getting, we're starting to get into melee range here. If we do want to go with that. Stitch trousers, tiny health booster. We could head home. Or we could just, like, do a little bit of uh, junking and organizing. Get rid of the commons at the very least. Superb. Superb. Slow down. Okay. We'll get rid of all the garbage commons and then we'll work from there. Whoa. Okay. Maybe we can get homing on there now. God, trying to hit with both of them forked without that is is really, really tough. Frost spell damage up. Let's take that. We could get frost blades next time, too. 25. Gotcha. So, yeah, it looks like we get five every time we level up. Uh, where's homing? 10. There we go. There we go. Now we shoot two and they're homing. Oh... Oh, let's go. See, that's pretty cool. Not bad, not bad, not bad. I saw those home down here. Like, there must be somebody. Yep. There there sure was. All right, we just power spiked for sure. Okay. Just take the blues and work from there. Like, unless I wanted to go home every two seconds... I feel like it might be more cost effective to just kind of like schmoog. Holy. Fro oh, frost resistant. Come on, dude. Firestorm. You had to pick the one thing that I do. Exploding, infecting, burster. Running. Starting to run out of mana here. Oh, no. The homing is not working. Hold on. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. This is... Maybe we could swap out to, like, uh, just a melee attack. Might be better at this rate. Okay. There we go. Check Firestorm. I assume it's not going to be for this. Yeah, that's from Meteor. I don't care. I'll, I'll learn it anyways. Portal beacons. I could get an energy booster. Could potentially be worth. Gloves, health booster. Yeah, I like when I got the the homing and the piercing going at the same time here. Like we we popped off. Uh, I don't think I have anything that can modify my AOE yet. 
I'm sure next level when I get uh, frost blades, I'll be able to do something with that. Oh, shoot. Oh, thank you. I am slightly evasive from that weapon I, or that item I got. Ever so slightly, ever so slightly. Uh, cooldown reduction. Sure. Oh, it's 25 total fuse capacity. That checks out. So yeah, like every time you level up, you get the ability to modify more and more and more and more and more and more and more. And more. I will say when we were playing the demo, like it got to the point where you, I, it never was a mechanic that crossed my mind. Uh, because I just had so much that I wanted to, was able to play around with that it just Pretty didn't even tough. matter. So like by, by late game, you can make some nasty wombo combos. Ooh, look at this. But I'd say like, yeah, on next level, uh, I can probably get a cooldown reduction on it because this doesn't have cooldown. It just costs mana. I began conceptualizing immunity to enforcer attacks as being related yeah. to genetic tagging, i.e. allies have a shared identifier that the attacks somehow circumnavigate them. However, Contra I have bait. witnessed accounts of enforcer powers passing through civilians with no <laughs> harm done. I can only hypothesize that each enforcer has conscious or subconscious control over who receives damage from their attacks. Sadly, this means that the Ketu cannot become immune to set attacks unless the Enforcer chooses to favor us. Try not to talk over that there. Holy! Can't help but notice that we are missing some time still. Because it's got homing, but it's not like absurd, absurd homing. Reflexes up, max energy up. Armor health, credit drop down. You know what? Sure. That's kind of like glass cannony. In a, in a way. Just anything that increases... Uh, oops, I didn't realize you're here. Increases our energy is at least decently helpful for us killing more. Oops. Come on, shift click. Oh, was I shift clicking the item? Is that what's happening? I feel like I should still be able to, uh, to shmove, you know? Yeah. If I shift click an item, it causes a little bit of a problem. Wait, what? Oh, shoot. I thought that I was one away. This apparently is multiple notches to get here. But I think that it improved... Oh, and then Cool Headed has eight possible upgrades to it. Okay, so there's passives and then there's abilities. These are all passives we could get a whole bunch of. Frost Penetration would be nice. Certainly, certainly. I can undo that. If I want to. I just want to put this here for a second see if it... Form ice blades in your arms and strike your in your targeted direction. Every third strike hits the enemies in a radius instead. Uh, so we can only undo the last point spent. So with that in mind, I, I will keep going towards frost blades so we can hopefully see a new ability. Oh, oh look at that bouncing off the wall too. We are at the very least, like, we're, whenever we level up and put points into that tree, we're getting a little bit of value in the sense of, like, just upgrading that standard thing on the left, I think. Yeah, 5 out of 30, totally. Next level, 24 health, 6 max energy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Totally, totally. Whoop. Get that down. Get out of here. Get out of here. Nice and easy. Yeah, I'll take as many portal beacons as I can find. I'll take the contraband. Yeah, you're cool. Whoop. All right. Yeah, I don't know. There's something just so relaxing about an action RPG in a way. Just kind of like... Just going in, getting all that, getting all the loot. And especially when you add, like, that extra little... Every time you level up, you get to tweak something just by a little bit. Like, in the in the tree here. I do want to see, like... 
I could get energy restore on miss. Actually, that sounds... Well, no. I was going to say it sounds nice because um, it does miss sometimes. Slows down projectiles, but increase their damage and their energy cost. I kind of want to see it in action here. Can I... I can branch off there. Like, the fact that they're slower doesn't really bother me. I just want to see how much um, energy it it eats up. Because 20% extra energy costs for 10% more damage. But it also says 2 uh, ability Perini power. Bridge. Perini Bridge. Alright. It says this zone is a level 8 zone and I'm level 6. I don't know if that... I don't think that'll matter. I think I created a broken enough combination here. This is almost feeding me like... Oh, I was going to say, almost feeding me like boss spawn territory. It's epic sledgehammer. I'll take a look for sure. We lose melee attack speed, poison damage experience on kill, but we get weapon damage, physical damage, reflexes, max energy, accuracy, crit chance. I think we take it. It also looks very cool. Whoop. Right. Good. Is our attack speed tied to, like, it's not this, I would not call it a melee attack at all. But is it tied to my melee attack speed for whatever reason? I know some games have that. Fork? I guess we could get, like, another rank of fork. Hello there. Hello there. I'm also definitely highly considering dropping my HP potion for another mana potion. Going all in on the aggro there. I really wall. can't carry more. I'm carrying too much. Oh god, please. Go back. You know what? Oh, I, I was gonna try and I give you a little smack. Anything else. Uh Basically gain everything except elemental resistance. I'm fine with that. We'll take another fork here. Yes. Mirror wall requires a, a wall skill. No will match me. Tell you what, we'll head back to town as well. You're off town. You're off town. Do a little bit of selling, maybe a little bit of Your buying. In my armor. Perfect match. Hey, not you. Not you. Next time you're in a tight spot. Just think of Leon. Because I might want to buy some stuff here. Uh, just sell it all. I'm just going to do it. If I can. Oh, okay. There we go. Sell it. 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 Sell it all. Okay. All right. Knock back. Okay. So your stuff does change, too. Fork. Title. That's for... Well, I mean, Pierce could be really good. Let's do it. I Let's this. do it. Let's see. How much is Pierce? It's only five? I'm going to get rid of this slowdown because it's a lot of, a lot of cost up. This also gives it the two skill power anyways. The slowdown is pretty good. I think it's really, really good with the homing where, like, the speed of the projectile doesn't really matter. Every day for the life we've it's a nice... Perini bridge. Excuse me? Did I do that? It's a nice, clean uh, way to increase the damage without really mattering too much. So I do wonder with the piercing as well. I guess I'll take all the blues. Does it apply? It has a 28% chance to apply. So we pierce there on both projectiles. I think so. Pierce once. 
I mean, that's pretty good. Especially, look at that. That's so good. Oh, it's incredible. Waste guard. Increase damage energy. Fire damage setup. Energy cost up. Better gloves. I have no belts, but I shall no longer scream. I'll learn, I'll learn all those. Anyways, uh, we got to level up. Drop the point in there. Learn the new ability. Q. So I guess, we'll, yeah, we'll need an enemy to really see. I feel like I kind of want to swap this and that. Okay. Stun. A duration of one. I mean, I kind of, I don't hate that, but is it worth, um... I don't know. I can't believe Pierce is worth five. I'll tell you what, I'll add stun to my melee, probably, on the next next level up there. Oops. This move is just so much better than my other stuff right now, though. I, I feel like... Than the other one thing I have. Well, let's see it in action. Yeah, if we add a little bit of stun to that, though, I think that that... I could see the use case for that. The use case would be, like, they got all up in my face... Uh, energy costs 12. It's a little bit more expensive, though. Rip through them all. It's pretty fun. But yeah, that, that rips through it. But it also uses... It's a melee, so it uses a completely different set of... Um, you know, the, the little fuses that I might otherwise not have a purpose for. So that's kind of nice. I've created a really broken move, though. <laughs> like, if this was a MOBA, this move would get nerfed. And that's basically what, like, Superfuse is about. It's like, you make a bunch of moves that, oh, if they were in another game, it would not be allowed. Okay, I gotta keep, I gotta remember I'm putting this on Q now. Uh-oh. Oh, I ruined everything. I ruined everything. Beta. Reminder. Beta. Oop. Contraband. I almost wish, wish the, the, uh, the contraband would auto-pick up. If it's basically just different gold, I wouldn't mind if it just auto-picked up. There's that. I want the UI size bigger, and I wish that, like, chests could light up visually. Since a lot of them blend in fairly, fairly well with the environment. Unless they're supposed to be hidden. Which maybe they are. Whoa. Cute. Go. Uh oh. I can just smack him. Oh god. We are not good at that. Oh, we, it's no surprise, but we are. That is not our strong suit. Wall thickness. God, I need a freaking wall. I need it stat. Whoop. Speed up. Is it just... Add lightning damage could be fun, too. Is speed up the one that we just had? Yeah. Perfection refined. I'm going to learn all of them anyways. I don't, I don't feel like selling those. Just I'm the kind of guy who, like... Yeah. I will loot all of those and use all of those to kind of just consume them because who knows down the line like what would be really really fun to play with more or less Zoop. rip 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 there's an elite somewhere down here Yep. Get the wall, get the mana booster. Go ham. How dare you all have frost resist? How dare you have frost resist? Go. 
I was wondering why those were flying off to the side. It's because there's a guy down there. Okay. Take it. Portal beacon. Oh my god. Oh my god. Frost resistance trainee. And I mean, it's poison resistant as well. I feel like I could just start mashing and I'll be okay there. I, I got them low. Oh, they hurt. This is certainly not intended. But I do love... Okay, like, I also mentioned, you know, early on that it'd be fun to see an element or an ice melee build. This totally... You totally could with Frost Blades. Like, whether or not... I don't know if maybe this character... Like, can't get the same tankiness as the others, but I think that maybe if we just, like, set up our abilities correct. Max weapon damage, health restore on kill. Ooh. Don't mind if I do. I feel like if you just set up the character right, you probably could make them pretty tanky. Whoop. Like, I don't know how limited the ability points are eventually going to be. Like, if you just... I'm assuming you probably can't get everything in the elemental tree, like the ice tree. Probably can't get it all. Which means maybe you'd want to ditch the armor. Alright. They're all frost resist! I'm so unlucky! Holy moly, man. Jeez. Ah, go, 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 ah, go, 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 there we go. Come on. Home a little bit. Oh my, I might just say screw these guys, to be honest. The hammer does a lot more. Oh, it's pain. I'm doing it though. It's a lot less tedious than getting him with my, uh, my disadvantage that I have on my other attack. Okay, there we go. Boop. Boop. Are they like built to counter me or something? I swear. Stock prod. Melee attack speed, strength, power, cast speed. We lose a lot of other stuff. I think that's just a really good thing to sell. Chance to hit on hit to cause a crushing shockwave dealing damage to all nearby enemies. It's cool. No one will match me. In development, chill against it gets a chance to freeze. Chill grants armor while active. Oh yeah, seems like you could totally go tanky with this. I feel like, why not just increase frost skill damage at this point though? All right, we have ten to play with. I'll go with stun. So it does. I think it increases the mana cost more. Right? No, it makes it do a little bit less damage. I think that's okay. I think that's okay. Like, it getting a um, a chance to stun, I think we'll see a lot more use case than using it as a different source of damage. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, totally. As just like a get the hell off me move. I think that's going to be nice. Power punch range. Yeah, I like it. I, I like that. That, that gives us a, an actual logical reason to use it instead. I'm assuming this is for one specific move. Power punch. I don't even know if we can learn that move. Uh, how does Power one... restored. Oh, there we go. Bridge activating. Vents activating. They open the vents. They're crazy. The corruption will kill us all. Rob Drake. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay, hold on. Get a jump. Stun. Get that guy over here. Come on now. Oh, what the hell, dude? It seems like, yeah, homing has some, a couple downsides. Bye-bye, boss boy. Fallen was carrying a radio. Messages indicate these fighters were blocking access to corruption Return to Colony Representative Bates for further instruction. We did it. We did it. Uh, alright. 
Well, 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 I mean, that was a pretty big logical place to head back to town, I'd assume. Euros Town. Euros Town. I do think that there should maybe be, like, if there's going to be... Oh, because we teleported away while it was open. Uh, if there's going to be exclamation points anyways, they might as well be on the map too, right? Here's a reward for breaking the kettle blockade. Don't listen to the tittle-tattle saying... Frost penetration, weapon damage experience. Right, now there we go. The Ketu deserved extermination. A job well done. Claim that. But where was it? Where was that thing? This thing. Weapon damage, max, a little bit of max energy, accuracy, crit chance. Wait, is this, this is not the thing that I just picked. It was this one. There we go. You lose reflexes, max energy, accuracy. I mean, we lose mostly the same stuff anyways. I still think it would be logical for us to go for that. It feels right. All those Ketu in Edge of Space were preventing us from accessing the conduit. But why? It's alleged the Ketu may be protecting a corruption pod. These vile things are essential to the spread of corruption. Sending out spores, infecting the spikes. Nasty business all around. Spreading corruption would make me look like a fool. They'd like that, I'm sure. But this sounds too complex for simpleton rebels. It's all preposterous. Smoke and mirrors. But just in case to be a good enforcer and check if there's a pod there for me. Yeah, that's like some that's like an AI generated speech there. But I have heard we've heard that guy talk with a normal voice in in this video here today so yeah uh, i do think that that'll like the voice actors that they have to do the real voice the acting are really good mm. see has done for a while the completely different and check the vents beyond edge of space that they're clear and working would you like a completely different voice so that's a beta thing that won't be in the real thing the voices are actually Isn't very good I, I personally think like the the legit voices the ai ones are they do a serviceable job though like they they're like they're nice placeholders. They're not... There's only, like, a couple moments in their pattern that's a little bit immersion-breaking. But again, beta. Irrelevant. Alas, alas. I do need to see what this is about. Hold on, gamble. I'm Alex, and I'll be your gambling host until this fucking colony burns to the ground. My items cost a premium, but maybe you'll be lucky and get something special. Gotcha. Ah, yes. I'm familiar. You, you buy a common, but you might get something wild. Alas, alas, that is that. That's going to do it here for today. This has been Super Fuse. Uh, it is going to be coming out in early access on January 31st. Like I said, there's four-player co-op uh, that is going to be in the game. I believe is already in the game in the, like this beta right here for testing. I can't speak to that right now because that's not what I'm doing. Like I said, I'm kind of, I don't know. I've, I've, action RPGs have always been a, a single-player thing for me for whatever reason. Uh, but either way, uh, really fun. I think that the the weapon cust or the item customization, changing up different abilities is very very cool. Uh, you know, it's similar to you know some other potential action RPGs, but this does it in a way that I I really enjoy. I think it's easy to parse, uh, nice to nice to look at, clean. You can make some wild stuff happen in a kind of you know like a superhero comic book kind of lens which i really enjoy as well i think there needs to be more games in that style so i'm happy you know happy to see this and i again same deal i when there's more to play i'm excited to see what else they have in store and like see the other characters things like that but that's gonna do it my name is retromation coming to games every single day typically with an extra specialty in roguelikes and roguelites but i love to dip my toes in the action rpg genre as well huge thank you to raw fury for sponsoring this video uh, we got one more one more day left in the five days of fury tomorrow uh, and then we are done so a huge thank you to them for uh, for trusting me with this do go check out the uh link at the top description the raw sember page over on steam it has their games there's some sales going on there's a bunch of demos of great games that they have uh some that i've showcased recently this week but yeah, it's, it's fun to really just have them trust me and go, hey, pick five games that you think look cool and play them. <laughs> it's it's great. <laughs> like, it's a really been been a great, great thing. I uh, was happy to do it last year. Extremely happy to do it again this year. Uh, but yeah, that's that. Thank you for watching. Check out the channel. Indies and more every single day, and I'll see you next time. Bye!